Hi, Margie. Here to wish you a very happy retirement. I'm glad that this time is finally upon you. I know it's been a long time coming. Just wanted to say thank you for all your support and belief and work with um, Capillary Health Alliance for our partnership in doing that work for your years as the board chair and all the work you did prior and after. I always enjoy our conversations. There was always a, a lot of personal conversation and fun as well as a lot of thought and energy that went into thinking about how our community could be healthier than ever. So anyhow, here's to your future. I really hope that it's um, a lot of joy and fun and adventure headed your way. Lots of love, Kathy. Hi, Margie. Congratulations on your retirement. I couldn't be happier for you. You have so much to be proud of from the years of the good work that you've done throughout your career, and I am grateful. I can be just a small part of that good work. You know, you have um, compared us throughout the years, uh, describing us as being cut from the same cloth, and that is such a compliment to me. I can't think of anyone that I would rather be compared to than Margie Clark. So, best wishes to you, Carl Amico. Margie, congratulations on your retirement. You have made the world a better place. Your commitment and helping certified peer support specialists with a lived journey in mental health recovery get three Lansing Community College credit hours is a model in the country. We're the only state that provides people with the ability to move towards higher education for individuals that are working and supporting other people in community mental health settings. It happened because of you. I also want to just talk about your strong commitment to social justice. We wouldn't have been able to award the three credit hours to people incarcerated in Michigan without your hard work and dedication to also make that happen. Other things that you help me with is being a really good friend and also a mentor. And I believe that there's a lot of other people that you have mentored throughout your whole career because your dedication to women, and your dedication to students that are getting higher education uh, is known. It's known throughout the area and at LCC. Your moving speeches at the peer ceremonies will never be forgotten. Some of the information that you shared with peers invigorated them to continue on their career path to learn more. So it's with excitement and yet sadness to say, hey, good luck, have fun in the future. And this isn't goodbye, because I know that we're still going to be able to connect and we'll always be good friends. Here's to you. Okay, and Margie, we are we are coming to a close shortly. Okay, so we're, <laughs> we're going to um, enjoy one final video, which is a highlight of Lansing Community College's Giving Star Award for Philanthropy. And following that, then we'll hear a few words from our guest of honor from Dean Clark. So let's enjoy this final video and then a few words from you before we, we close this up for the day. We start out tonight with the giving, or today with the Giving Star Award for philanthropy. This is awarded to the individual who through donation of time or resources, they've contributed in a meaningful way to the college to support the college's vision, along with student success and its strategic plan. The Giving Star Award for Philanthropy goes to Margie Clark.
Margie wasn't able to be with us here today, but to uh, offer recognition, we've got uh, a video, and to introduce that is Elaine Paganchak. Margie could not be here today because she's out giving. Seriously, she um, uh, goes to Toledo um, almost every weekend to care for her mother, and um, which is probably fitting because that's where she learned her giving spirit. I personally have had a very long friendship with, uh, with Margie. Margie and I met each other at St. Lawrence Hospital 100 years ago. Nah, some 30, 30 some years ago. Um, and then uh, she was a, uh, a new nurse in the um, critical care unit, and I was the nurse educator who did our orientation and did precepting and all that kind of stuff. Um, we met up again at, later here at LCC. She was an adjunct instructor, and uh, she became, um, she got her master's in nursing. Director, she became director of the nursing program and, and up to dean of uh, HHS. As a person, um, Margie is a doer. She has a spirit of giving that it just, it just emanates from her. If you say you need anything, she's got it. Or she tells you where to go, or she hooks you up with somebody. Um, helps her employees. She helps everybody else. She does a little blood pressure clinic. Not really. But if somebody needs their blood pressure taken, she runs right over with, uh, with the cuff. Um, she gets calls. There are calls from the community to ask her to sit on board. She's on, on uh, several. She participates in Crystal Ray. Uh, the Davies Project this is a uh, uh, group that provides free transportation for children and their families, um, Stars Helping Stars, students at Sexton and Willow Elementary. Um, she, part she brings food in every week for the food bank here at LCC. She really cares. Um, she has taught us all about compassion. She makes us all want to be better people. Very, very student-centered. Um, get roadblocks out of their way. Writes letters of support if they want to transfer, if they have any kind of need. A big heart, generous and caring. Um, if, they all, if, if, if anyone here has been sick and you know that Margie comes with a big, um, a big plate of, of food for you, if you've been in the hospital, she's there to visit. She enjoys giving. That actually is, is what she lives for, happiness and joy by giving. Um, and then one other thing I want to say is that uh, it doesn't matter what your position is or where you are in the organization. She treats everybody like family. So, so let's play that video. Margie Clark, yes. it is my pleasure today to come Aww. here and present you with the 2018 Big Star Aww. Award. So this is because uh, you threw your resources and your gifts and your heart Random. and your compulsions, <laughs> <laughs> compulsions. have helped students here about the LCC programs. Thank you. instruction as a
She has always been large. She has always been the person that you see, the giving, the just the generous, the loving, bossy, uh, bossy person. <laughs> So, wow. I, now we can all be emotional, Margie, seeing that. So as you, you take a, a quick six seconds here to, to think, to, I want your words to be the closing words and remarks of, of this event for today and uh, your voice to, to close this out for us. So I want to just quickly say, um, Thank you, Margie, for your service and your, your dedication. And all of us wish you continued joy and success for many years to come with Dan and Mandy and wherever you choose life to take you. Um, I also want to thank President Robinson, LCC's Board of Trustees, the Provost Cabinet, all of LCC's faculty and staff, your family and friends who all came together um to to make this this hour and a half two hour place uh i hope a memorable one and i think it was for all of us a special thanks to dave uh wassinger from lcc's video and production um dave for all of his time and expertise putting together these videos it was very hard for him to follow you and dan on that treacherous a scooter ride through italy um but he was able to capture that and put that in and then lastly, special thanks to Patrick Butcher um, from LCC's Event Technology, uh, your, your specialty work, um, Patrick, to make this all possible and go so smoothly. Thank you, thank you. And so with that, uh, Dean uh, Clark, um, you are the reason Nancy, we are here. Yes, yes, sir. May, yes, may sir. I interrupt for, I'd just like to interrupt for just, I'd like to apologize for, first of all, for missing the first 12 hours of this presentation and look forward to the several six hours after this um, <laughs> I just want to thank all of our friends and and Margie's colleagues which became our friends uh, over the years for all their kind words and true words and I just want to know uh, I just want my sweetheart to know that I, I I love you and and I admire you so much and I'm so proud of you today and I look forward to spending a little more a lot more every waking moment oh. <laughs> with you. Uh, I love you. <laughs> I love you. Love me. <laughs> Perfect. Nancy, um, I, I just, if this is my opportunity to speak, I am, I am so humbled and overwhelmed by the kind words, the 
the people that have taken so much time out of their day for this um, celebration. And I am just so uh, overwhelmed by it. And I just, I look at and hear all the people that spoke and it, it's, it's just really so heartwarming. And I, I want you to know, Dan, note to self, no funeral is necessary. Just show the tape, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Number one, I feel that um, I said to somebody earlier who was uh, not going to be here today and said that they were going to call in and, and, and it was uh, Kelly Terrell. And I said, Kelly, I know you love me and I love you and all that you do and for our students and our faculty and our staff. And if there's something I can say that my mom taught me how to love and she, um, she not just did that for myself, but also for my brothers and everybody who crossed her path. So I had a few um, women in my life that have made a huge impact and some are famous and some are not. The not so famous would be uh, Assunta Rogeto Pro Procaccini, who is my mother, and um, in my heart, she's the most famous. And she taught us how to love as a family. And she would say, con, tu, con amore se fa tutto. And she would say, when you love, you can do anything. And that was the message she told us as children. And so, I don't know, it just became part of the framework. So. Con amore si fa tutto. And I believe that. And I hope that that's the message that um, I believe the message in life that every day we should conduct ourselves in that way. Um, Mom had other statements and she would say to me, sempre quello che c'hai lo devi dare e lo devi dare a qualcuno che non devono chiedere. Lo devi fare in silencio. So mom would say that translated, whatever you have, you need to give it to other people. Don't wait for them to ask for it. Just give it in silence. And so I want you to know that's really been the framework of who I am. And I didn't know it <laughs> until, you know, you, you sort of interact and you think, well, ha, huh, we just did this or that. You think, why shouldn't I give that? And why shouldn't I share it? And I don't need to have people ask. I just need to put myself in a position to be able to give. Dan will get a good laugh out of this. When we saw our financial advisor uh, preparing for retirement, the first thing I asked was, am I going to be able to give at the level that I'm giving now? <laughs> And the woman said, oh, okay. <laughs> so I hope, um, I hope uh, my hope that I've done is that I've led by example. I um, think that there's some camaraderie in women that have influenced me in my life. My mother was the first because I was with her and influenced by her. My father was a great influence, but we lost him 39 years ago. So my mom had a longer time to put her imprint. Um, but I will say this, Mother Teresa, I heard her name earlier. Mom would always um, talk about Mother Teresa. And one of the things I would buy her books and then I would read them and, and then she would read them. One of Mother Teresa's message said, if you can't feed a hundred people, then feed just one. And that was one way that my mother used to share her love was through food. So guess what? Me and Minnie Me, I'm like my mom. I would share food with people. It's how she showed love. It's how I showed love. But for those of you that gained weight, her message to me and my brothers was, when you lived under my roof, you were all skinny. And so, you know, we have to take accountability for ourselves. Um, another person that was important to me was Maya Angelou. She had a lot of words. I read her poetry, a great American poet. And I would tell to students this at graduation, and I say it to anyone in life, is that um, she learned, she said, I learned that people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. So step up, be the first, 
um, reach out, there's never a risk in taking a chance. And so I hope that's something that you will um, say and, and, and encourage and use in your life. You know, it's a funny story. When I started at LCC, I was going through files and figured things out. For those of you that know, I turned 62, my year for retirement, on August 28th, and I was, or gosh, I got it wrong, Dan. You always said 28, August 29th, and I was born in 1958. And the first graduating class at Lansing Community College was on August 29th, 1958. So I think it was in the stars that I got to be here to be part of the work that happened at LCC. And I, I just want to say that there are so many things in our opportunities when we're at a community college. I learned as a bedside nurse, first in my home with my parents, but then as a bedside nurse to take care of patients and families. And then when I came into the college, I realized I could spread that um, philosophy of caring for people with students, faculty, staff, and the community. And so you, you can learn one thing and apply it into another setting. And that's what I hope for folks that, um, think about this, and this is really a long day. Um, to my husband, Dan, it was Ruth Bader Ginsburg, another, another strong woman that said, if you have a caring life partner, you help the other person when that person needs it. I had have a life partner who thought my work was as important as his, and I think that made all the difference for me. And so I thank you for standing by me when I wasn't home, <laughs> when I would come home and, um, you know, you were doing something and I could stay till 10 or you just understood that this was part of who I was and what filled me up. So to everyone who shared their words today, my gosh, I'm trying to hold it back. I drank two cups of water here to hold myself back. I want to say thank you for the opportunity to serve this college and community. And now I want to switch to be able to serve in the community and always know that there are friends here at LCC that will help me through connect dots. I'll send people here because this is a great place. Lansing Community College has been the most wonderful place for me to grow as an individual and an administrator. I thank everybody that's been here. My goodness, you need a break. We've been here more almost two hours. I thank you. And in the words of my husband's profession, I think it's time to wrap it up. And thank you for all your time and generosity. Ti amo tutti. Abracci. Thank you. Thank you, Margie. Thank you. Thank you, Margie, for everything. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Nancy, for facilitating, my dear friend. Or I love you. You made me cry. I love you. <laughs> love you, too. Yes. Yeah. Love you, too. Nancy and everyone, great job. Thank you so much. Thanks, Dan. Yeah, thank you, Dan, for all your help and continued help. <laughs> Everybody stay safe. Have a great Bye semester. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Patrick. Thank you, Margie. Have a great evening. We can hear you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to leave the event. Thank okay. you, Patrick. Yeah, Thank, Thank you, everyone. You. Thank you, Elaine, Kelly, everyone, Sue. I I'm seeing them scroll across. So many kind words. I'm humbled. Thank you.